If you have around 1800 US dollars to spend, you can get a top of the line gaming PC to build for 4K gaming on ultra settings and high FPS in esports games like Fortnite. Or you could just buy for 1440p resolution, very very high FPS right now and in the future, so a future proof gaming system. Today I'll show you the components you should buy at this price point if you want to get the fastest performance for gaming and I show you the level of performance or FPS that you can expect in high demanding games and esports shooters as well. The link to this exact gaming PC build will be down below in the video description. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's get started. First, let's talk about the CPU. Here I went with a Ryzen 7 9700X, which is one of the newest CPUs from AMD. It is going to be a very powerful 8-core processor that is going to be perfect with the GPU that I'm going to be talking about today. Now, this CPU is going to be ideal as well for content creation and productivity work. So if you're into video editing, 3D rendering, or whatever you want to do as a creator, this CPU is actually one of the best value CPUs in the entire market. And when it comes to high CPU demanding games, once again, like those esports shooters I mentioned before in Fortnite, Valorant, CS2, and games of that nature, you can expect 240 plus FPS on average in competitive settings in most games and I'm talking about 4k resolution by the way if you drop down the resolution to 1440p then you can expect around 360 plus fps so feel free to go with a 240 hertz 4k monitor or a 360 hertz 1440p one or even higher depending on the game because a game like Valorant is very easy to run so in those games you will be averaging over 400 or even 500 fps depending on the settings now for this CPU you need the proper cooling and that's why I went with the R Arctic Freezer 36 CPU cooler. This is an aftermarket CPU air cooler with RGB. In my opinion, it looks amazing and it has some of the best thermals for the price in the entire market. The price is very affordable and it's going to be the perfect choice, in my opinion, for this Ryzen 7 9700X. Now, you also need fast memory because if you don't have fast memory, you could be bottlenecking your system depending on the game and also you need the right amount of memory. So that's why I went with 32 gigs of DDR5 memory at 6 1000 MHz CL30 timings, which means that you are getting a very fast memory kit that's also going to be perfectly fine for streaming and content creation because in my opinion 32 gigs of RAM is the best when it comes to price or performance. Keep in mind that if you go with 64 gigs of RAM in case you want more memory, it's not going to make a difference for gaming. The level of gaming performance is going to be quite frankly the same, but it is going to be better in some video editing and content creation applications depending on your workloads. And then you also need the right amount of storage that's why i went with two terabytes of ssd by the way this is a gem 4 drive very fast and you get plenty of storage to install a bunch of games or if you want to have heavy files in your computer two terabytes is going to be the standard and now i want to talk about the graphics card which is the most important component when it comes to your gaming performance so if you were wondering how this pc is going to perform on average this is going to be the time where i explain this to you now before doing that i want to say that this system has wi-fi included because you get a premium motherboard and it is very upgradable over time so if you want to swap the cpu from this ryzen 7 to the fastest cpu in the entire market right now in the ryzen 7 9800x 3d you can do so without having to replace the motherboard because as i said before it is a premium quality motherboard that being said let's talk about the graphics card this is the rx 7900 xtx from amd which is actually the fastest gpu from amd in the entire market it has 24 gigs of vram which is quite a lot for even 4k resolution and in terms of the level of gaming performance you can play at 4k ultra settings with no issues in fact you can expect over 90 fps in the most high demanding titles at 4k high to ultra settings or even higher if you turn on fsr which is the upscaler from amd and if you want to play at 1440p i'm going to be honest here for most games the 7900 xtx is going to be a complete overkill for 1440p but it is going to be a nice option if you want a future proof 1440p gaming pc build so if you want to play the latest demanding titles at 1440p 1440p right now and you want to do the same in the near future well the 7900 xtx is going to be definitely capable of doing that because it's actually the second fastest graphics card in the entire market when it comes to rasterized performance and if you want to go with an nvidia gpu instead you have two options here you can either go with the rtx 4080 super which is going to provide you with about the same performance as the 7900 xtx on average but it has a better level of ray tracing performance if you care about ray tracing and it has dlss which is the upscaler from nvidia and it's usually better than AMD's FSR, so the picture quality is going to be better if 
if you want to turn it on at 4K ultra settings. Also, the 4080 Super might be better for some content creation and productivity work applications. Of course, it's going to depend on the exact application, but for the most part, it is going to be better. But you end up paying a hundred to 150 US dollars more. So instead of spending 1800 dollars in the entire system, you will end up spending around 1920 bucks, which is quite a lot. So if you don't have that amount of money, then you have another option from Nvidia in the RTX 4070 Ti Super. This one is going to be similar in price to the 7900 XTX. In fact, it's going to be about 50 bucks cheaper, but it is going to be around 15% slower on average compared to the 7900 XTX. So you are going to be losing some performance by going with the 4070 Ti Super. However, keep in mind that for 1440p resolution, for example, the 4070 Ti Super is going to be definitely one of the best graphics cards that you can get. So there's no issues with going with the 4070 Ti Super if you must go with Nvidia and you play at 1440p. But if you want to play at 4K resolution ultra settings with no DLSS or FSR, then the 7900 XTX is going to be the much better option. But of course, it's up to you and up to your wallet. If you really want to go with Nvidia, then both the 4080 Super and 4070 Ti Super are valid options for 4K and 1440p. But the 7900 XTX is going to be better value, especially if you want to do primarily gaming and you are willing to go AMD. Now, you also need the right case because you need plenty of airflow for these components. And that's why I went with the Lian Li Lancool 207. This one has two pre-installed RGB fans, plenty of airflow and a from mesh panel, a very premium build quality. And I also added one extra case case fan for you to play on the back and have three case fans. And last but not least, I went with an 850 watt power supply that's going to be very good quality and 850 watts is going to be enough for any build, whether you go with Nvidia or AMD. Most importantly, you make sure your PC will not explode. Now, the total price for this system with the 7900 XTX will be around 1770 bucks. So for under 1800 US dollars, you are getting a top of the line 4K gaming computer that can also run any game at 1440p or even 1080p but i would recommend you at least a 1440p monitor if you will be buying this system by the way down below in the video description alongside these systems with alternatives you will also find the perfect 1440p and 4k monitor depending on what you are trying to achieve and if you don't want to build a pc yourself i completely understand that sometimes it can be an exhausting process especially if you don't have the time or the knowledge so in that case you can buy a pre-built pc and you will have my video on the best pre-built pc for every budget and every resolution in the center of the screen. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.